Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what we have here is saying, well, I think it's quite interesting. This might look like a normal pair of vice grips, but they are actually a pair of specialist impressioning pliers. And these were sent to me by uh, Vent for review. I, I requested uh, this because I'd never really seen one. I've seen the uh, handles, the impressioning handles where you'd hold it, and it looks like, um, uh, I guess like a, a bike handlebar handle and you'd screw the key blank into that handle. Um, these are a similar price to those specialist pieces of equipment, but they are sort of like a quick release uh, a vice grip version. And that sort of appealed to me uh, just because, I, you know, I don't do loads of impressioning and I just like to, you know, throw in a key blank and just get going without having to uh, necessarily um, you know play around with uh, screwing the key blank in so for those of you who don't know of course impressioning is a way in which you would take a lock without a key you would insert the appropriate key blank you would apply tension wiggle it up and down and hopefully the binding pin or pins would leave a mark on the top of the key blade you would then file that off slowly a little bit at a time and, and keep in repeating that process until all the cuts are at the right depths, in which case the whole lock will open. Um, how do these compare to a normal set of vice grips? Well, here is a, a I guess a similar-ish size set of vice grips. And I do use these actually, um, well, for impression and all sorts of things, you see I've sort of ground the nose off a bit. And uh, yeah, you see how you can get like you, well, let's tighten that up a little bit more, like that. You can uh, get a grip on a key blank, that's better. And that can work quite well, apart from the fact that I find that you do have to get quite vigorous with these blanks, and these do tend to sort of slip in these um, grips just because they're only held on by a small amount. You can use bigger grips, of course, but they're a lot more cumbersome to hold in the hand, especially for the long periods of time you um, uh, do an impressioning and also a larger uh, a set of grips tends to have a more of a lever effect on the key, which means that you can um, tend to uh, overexert force and you tend to snap the key blanks off if you're not careful. So the smaller the, the grips, the better. And that's why um, specialist impressioning handles are quite popular because of course they are also limited in their size, albeit they're not so quick to swap in and out key. Um, so these, well, you can see in my hand, these obviously fit very nicely. Um, depending on which way you want to hold it, um, you, you would insert the key. Uh, if you, I guess you wanted the key plate up this way, or at least if I'm in my right hand, and if you wanted it down uh, this way, it's sort of the mechanics of how you do it. Um, so let's have it so that, that's it, the key blank is going to be blade up, which is going to be like that. And these differ from those pliers because it's got an extra contact point here. And you can see how that inserts into the key ring hole on the key and provides a, um, a point of, I'm not gonna say triangulation because there are three contact points, one, two, three, on the, the key blank. And then you snap it. And even though it will have a small amount of movement, it's very, very limited compared to uh, normal vice grips because you're actually holding the um, the blank at one, two, and three points. It's a very small difference, but if you do want, uh, you know, a quick release pair of, uh, well, like a quick release impressioning handle, I've not seen anything uh, quite like this to to out there. I really haven't. Right. I guess what I should really test it by impressioning a lock, and I did have this one just out it from my bucket of snapped euros. Um, no doubt I'll use the other half for uh, another project, possibly a cutaway lock or something. Um, but I do have this half left and it will therefore serve the purpose. Um, it's long enough that I should be able to hold this in hand and get some uh, markings. So I'm going to flick the camera mode over to uh, time lapse and, and see how I go about impressioning this. Now, bear in mind, this won't be a, an impressioning tutorial. I just want to see how these really fare up. Um, when impressioning a, a lock. And I've not really used a time-lapse function before, so, um, well, let's just see how it turns out.
Okay, so um, I don't know how that time lapse looked, but I've got a key which does work. It's a bit notchy, listen. Here, see, it's just, yeah. I mean, I was trying to rush for the, the video. Um, when you see it, you'll see it's not my neatest work. Um, but you know, it's, it, it, it sort of works. Um, I don't really know what's catching on there. Uh, could be anything really. I mean, it's one of those things which I'll, I'll have to uh, fiddle about with later, but um, these grips were were really, really good at, at you know, allowing me to uh, keep a good hold of that key. They felt very comfortable in the hand. Of, well, you see my palm, no red markings or anything horrible happening there. Um, yeah, really good. Um, you know, these are at, I'd say, an equivalent price to a, uh, a pair of impressioning grips. If you go onto the, uh, the Vents website at the moment, it's around uh, 73 ish euros. So you have to go check uh, the, the link below to find out today's price. But I think if you were looking for something which you could easily just swap out key blanks, um, uh, insert them, uh, impression um, a lock, preferably in a door, not in your hand. Uh, this hand is red <laughs> from holding the lock. Um, this hand not so red from holding the grips. So yeah, try and uh, if you if you can, um, you know, vice down your uh, your your cylinder if you're going to impression. That's for sure. Uh, but overall, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed using these, and um, I can definitely see myself using them again. They do hold that key very stable. Um, they're not so big that you um, are at greater risk of putting too much pressure on the key at uh, at this point here the shoulder and the bow um so overall i think they're pretty nifty i really like them anyway i imagine that the only downside of these is that if you had a um a key blank like this um it would still be able to hold it but uh clearly a, a big slot in the key like that wouldn't go so well with uh, this single point, um, but pretty much all uh, uh, keys, I'll say the vast majority are like this one with the, a little key ring hole in, or at least you can find blanks like it for most of the profiles that I've seen out there. So there you go, pretty nifty little tool. That is the um, impressioning pliers, five inch impressioning pliers that uh, uh, was sent to me by Vent for review. I hope you like that and I'll see you all next time.